Hello everyone, welcome to Crash Code and today we're going to be learning about separate chaining and how to use it to resolve collisions in hash tables. And right in front of me right now we have the same numbers we used in the last previous videos and the same functions. And to start this we're just going to have, we're going to draw our arrays as usual and use and insert these values in. Right now I'm drawing the arrays. An array of size 7. And so we have our arrays here. And to start off, we're going to start inserting from the first value 10. To insert 10, we're going to use the same function x mod 7 and x here is signifying 10, so 10 mod 7, which is 3. And we're going to insert that at position 3. And the next one we're going to do f of x of 13, 13 mod 7 is 6. And we're going to insert that at position 6. The next one, f of x of 11. And that's 4. So we're going to insert it at position 4. The next one, we have 3. 3 mod 7 is obviously 3. But here, look, we have a collision. And 10 is already there. And to resolve this collision, we have 10 mod 7 hash into the same position as 3 mod 7. And this is where separate chaining comes into hand. So the idea is we're going to insert a link falling to from position 3. We're not going to do like, you know, the previous videos where we did like moving left or back. This we're going to have a link, like a link list coming down from position 3 and put in a node of 3 downwards and so that's how we're going to solve this collision between 10 and 3 for the next one we're going to insert 8 8 mod 7 is 1 we don't have any problems so we just insert 8 next one 5 mod 7 which is 5, we don't have any problem, so 5. And the next one, last, 14 mod 7, which is 0, would be inserted at position 0 without any problem. Meaning, we have 3 staying here at position 3, and you know, it's if the program decides to look for this value and you know all operations of the hash table has to be zero time of one and we're just going to keep three in the function and it's going to hash the same location but this time around the program the algorithm is going to go downwards it's going to go downwards till it finds three or whatsoever value it's looking for And we've come to an end of the video and I hope you understand what separate chaining is now and how to use it in your various assignments or projects.